Glitch in Commercial Bank of Ethiopia lets customers withdraw millions. Commercial Bank of Ethiopia has lost more than US$40 million United States dollars after a systems glitch which let customers withdraw and transfer sums of money that was not in their accounts. SAPI raises 7 British pounds and 50 pence MLN to turn payment companies into lenders. UK-based fintech startup SAPI has closed a US$7.5 million British pounds equity funding round to augment the small business lending landscape. Central Bank U.S. partners with TCS U.S.-based Central Bank has announced its partnership with TCS in order to modernize its core technology and accelerate its overall organic development. Trustly partners with MoneyGram Open banking payments provider Trustly has announced its collaboration with MoneyGram, aiming to introduce cardless payments for the latter's users across Europe. Galileo updates its Buy Now, Pay Later solution. US-based fintech Galileo Financial Technologies has expanded its Buy Now, Pay Later solution to include post-purchase installment payment options. Foxy to launch new payment services for mobile handsets. Foxy by Vodafone has announced the introduction of new payment terms to support clients that need more options for spreading the cost of their mobile handset. Checkout.com partners with Bolt. Global payment solutions provider Checkout.com has entered a collaboration with Bolt, a checkout technology company, to accelerate the advancement of e-commerce. Figure Technologies to Launch Crypto Exchange Figure Markets US-based Figure Technologies has launched Figure Markets, a platform for trading blockchain-native assets from crypto to stocks to alternative investments. MetaMask and CoinLedger augment tax reporting for users Web3 wallet MetaMask has partnered with CoinLedger to allow its users to export their tax information via the latter's tax reporting software, with a single click. Railser proposes merger with Equals Group. Embedded Finance, Railser's parent company, has approached Equals Group for a merger of the two companies, Sky News reports. SWIFT selected to build national confirmation of pay e-service in Australia. Fiancé L Messaging Cooperative SWIFT has been enlisted by Australian Payments Plus, AP Plus, to build a confirmation of pay e-service to reduce the risk of misdirected payments and increase defences against payment fraud. LEMFI expands Visa Cross-Border Solutions Partnership. Visa Cross-Border Solutions, a Visa, NYSE, V, division specializing in cross-border money movement, and LEMFI, a leading international payments company, have signed a deal that significantly expands their existing partnership globally. Plum launches Cash ESA. Smart Money App Plum is launching its Cash ESA today with a market topping rate of 5.15% air, variable, Asterisk, designed to reward savers and protect their savings from tax. Float secures $11 million in funding. Standard Bank has provided an $11 million facility to FinTech Float, which will facilitate the rollout of its card-linked installment platform, supporting its accelerated growth plans over the next four years. Maya Wallet launches Maya Card Gateway. Maya Wallet, a leading digital payments enabler specializing in card tokenization, today announces the launch of its global Maya Card Gateway, a platform that has been developed to ensure the secure transmission of sensitive payment card data, serving as a vital link between Maya Wallet customers, payment processors and service providers. Paynetics appoints Hannah Rolls as UK CEO. Paynetics one of Europe's leading providers of embedded finance, has appointed Hannah Rolls as UK Chief Executive Officer, CEO. 
Chubb and Atomi announce Southeast Asia partnership. Chubb, a world leader in insurance, and Atomi, one of Southeast Asia's leading digital financial services platforms, today announced a regional partnership to help drive consumer protection across Southeast Asia. The partnership will enable both companies to co create a range of insurance products available to Atomi's customers in Singapore, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Indonesia. Genesis to pay $21 million SEC fine. Genesis has agreed to pay a $21 million civil penalty to the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, for the unregistered offer and sale of securities. SumSub upgrades fraud prevention solution. SumSub, a leading global full cycle verification platform, commits to tackling the alarming surge of fraud networks in Asia Pacific, APAC, by launching its upgraded fraud prevention solution. In addition to fraud networks, the upgraded solution will also help businesses address other pertinent fraud issues such as account takeovers, chargeback fraud, bot attacks and more. Network International and MasterCard expand i-powered Britarian solution. Network International, the leading enabler of digital commerce across the Middle East and Africa, has extended the benefits of MasterCard's Britarian fraud prevention solution, powered by artificial intelligence, AI, to over 60,000 merchants. The two partners are leveraging the cutting-edge technology to protect and grow the payments industry by providing transaction fraud screening and merchant monitoring services to merchant acquirers and businesses. COPA opens local data center in the UAE. COPA, the leading AI-driven platform that helps you operate smarter and grow faster, today announced the launch of its first data center in the Middle East. Inaugurated in collaboration with the Amazon Web Services, Oz, team in Dubai. The grand opening, marked by a ribbon-cutting ceremony, happened on Wednesday, February 28, 2024. Fed banks analyze consumer use of card promos. New research from the Philadelphia and Boston Feds finds that consumers are cycling through low APR credit card offers. Chubb partners with Atomi. Chubb has announced its partnership with digital financial services platform Atomi in order to drive customer protection across the region of Southeast Asia. EU sets deadline for instant payments regulation. The European Council has adopted the instant payments regulation, which is scheduled to come into effect in a matter of weeks. Solaris secures 96 million euros in Series F funding. Germany-based embedded finance platform Solaris SE has announced the raise of 96 million euros in a Series F funding round led by SBI Group. Bank of Japan sets new short-term rates. The Bank of Japan has announced its decision to set new short-term rate targets, as well as the overall ending of some of the region's policies. North American Bankcard adds payment links to its Payments Hub platform. Fintech company North American Bankcard has added a series of upgrades to its Payments Hub platform, including payment links. Trading app Robinhood withholds margin investing in the UK. US-based trading app Robinhood has put on hold its plan to allow margin investing to UK-based consumers until further talks with regulators as it launches in the UK. Greg's storefronts reopen after payment processing issues. UK bakery chain Greg's was forced to temporarily close several stores due to payment processing issues, following similar issues faced by other UK retailers over the weekend. DBS Bank India announces US$250 million United States dollars lending support for startups. DBS Bank India announced a lending commitment of US$250 million United States dollars for new age startups today. The initiative is part of the bank's focus on fostering innovation and entrepreneurship within the country's thriving startup ecosystem.
This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.